This is the 2019 Mustang GT Premium Convertible. And so let me show you what it looks like when you start it up. If this is a push start, by the way. Oh, you got to like that. Oh, the little ghost pony appears. I love it. Okay, and so basically I know on, on this side here, um, I've got my RPMs and then I've got my miles per hour along with my digital miles per hour in the, in the middle of the circle. And then um, let's get rid of that sign there. And then, of course, you've got this, your basic information. You've got your temperature, outside temperature up here. You've got your compass up here. It says east. And then you've got what's playing on the radio. And then down here, you've got your trip meter. You've got your uh, gear indicator. And then you've got uh, how many miles you have left till empty. And then, of course, at the bottom, you have a heat gauge for your engine. And you have a uh, fuel gauge. Okay. So let's take a look at, at a couple of the modes um, that come on this screen. So first of all, you notice a little car emblem down at the bottom. Okay, so whatever mode you're in, that a little emblem will show up right there. So let's switch modes. So the first time, and I'm going to do that because that is the far right switch over here, and I and you can't push them down. It's always an up up push. So here I go. Here's well, first of all, it'll come back to normal. Then I'm going to switch it. Okay, then it's in Sport Plus, you notice that the dash changes. If I flick it up again, I can go to track mode. Now I get a different readout, and of course they want you to, you only use the track ma uh, mode at a track, and there's some information on the in the driver's manual about that. Okay, the next mode is the drag strip, and again they want you to look at the um, owner's manual to see uh, information on that, so please do that if you buy one. And then we'll go here to snow or wet. Okay, and that kind of comes back to where we are now. And then if I go back to here, I'm back to normal. So those are the different modes. You also have the next toggle switch right here is for your steering. So if I bring it up once, I'm in normal steering. If I flick it again, I got sports steering. And if I go again, I've got comfort steering. So you can select which ones you want. Okay. Um, over here, the last, the next button over is traction control on or off. So if you hit it, it'll tell you if traction control is off, and you just press OK, uh, and then traction control on. And as usual with Ford displays, you just press OK, the message goes away. And the last button here is simply your hazards. Okay. Um, now, let's go back to the steering wheel a minute because we have just a plethora of buttons on here. So real basically. Um, up here, you've got your volume for your Mia and uh, plus and minus. Uh, you've got a mute button right here, and then you've got a, like a track forward or track backward button uh, right here. Down below is your cruise control. So you have on off. Okay, and the minute that you set that, you see that little uh, right up where the mile, digital miles per hour are. Okay, then you have resume and cancel. Refocus here a second. Then you have resume and cancel right next to that. And then set. And then plus or minus for increasing your miles per hour. Okay, so then over here you have your gap setting for your uh, adaptive cruise control. So this will lessen it and this will increase it. You just kind of look at the little circle down there. I can decrease it and or I can increase it. Okay, moving over to the right. This one has to do with more of your main functions in your car as far as your media system. So right here, you have your phone, you have navigation, okay? And then you, your screen, just, your actual RPM goes away for a while. And then you can set these different things here. And I'm using these little arrow buttons to scroll through. This is always the back button. So if I press that, I'm back to my screen, okay? Um, over here you have your gear settings so that you can change what you see in the middle like we don't see anything right now so if I press I'm gonna be pressing this button here okay let's focus on that a little bit there we go and then using those little arrows right here and here and the OK button okay I can look at uh, trip fuel info and then if I use these up and down arrows, I can toggle through that. So here's my tire pressure. 
here's my fuel economy, here's trip two, here's trip one, I'm kind of going backwards. And then you're back to a blank screen. For some reason, Ford puts a blank screen in between uh, the, the first display and the last display, but that's, that's kind of nice, kind of lets you know you're at the end. All right, now I'm gonna go back to that gear wheel, and, oops, I pressed navigation instead. There we go. Uh, this comes with a whole bunch of driver assist stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let, you got auto engine off, and you can turn that on or off. That's so when you brake at a stoplight, the, if it's activated, the engine will shut off to save fuel. You got blind spot monitoring with pre-collision assist. You've got cross traffic for the rear. You've got, of course, your cruise control. And you can have an adaptive or you can have normal. So depending on what you like, if you've used adaptive cruise control, some people don't like it or they only like it on a highway instead of um, the city too, you can turn that to normal. Uh, you have driver alert systems to let you know if you're getting sleepy or if you should pull over and take a rest. And then you have the rear parking aid, which also includes a lane keeping system. Okay, and then you can set the mode. Okay, so you can get a beep, you can get a visual, or you can get both. Okay, you can set the intensity of it. And then you can work with your wipers. They can be rain sensing, which they, they do come equipped as rain sensing, or you can turn them to a courtesy wipe, uh, which basically means you turn your headlights on and it does a courtesy wipe. All right, so let's go back a little bit further. Let's go, you can change here to kilometers per hour if you need to. You can go into advanced settings, and that's the last one. So if I go into advanced settings, then you have something for, uh, you can do stuff here for your vehicle, easy entry exit, intelligent access lighting, which it has, um, it has, it has mood lighting in here. Um, you can set the locks, oil life reset, remote start, tire mobility kit, and then the windows, remote open, okay, or not remote open. And I'll go back up, you got uh, my key, you can set that up, okay? If you've driven a Ford before, or at least one that's from like a 2011 or so on forward, you can, you can do that. And then you have your display set up. What do you wanna see? Tire temperature, tire pressure, um, the language, um, so, I'll we'll go back here. You can also set this gauge to, to, to a, sort of like a, I forget what it's called, but it's like a my gauge look. So you can set this up and every time, the way you want it, and every time you get in the car with your key fob, it will set it to that setting. Down here, if you press the pony, you get into a whole lot more interesting stuff like, uh, my mode, that, that sets how the uh, digital dash looks every time you start the car's program to your key, so you set it. You've got exhaust mode, which can be quiet, normal, sport, or track. And again, you just use these cursors here and, the okay, and then to select it and then the OK button to get it, or to actually activate it, okay? And then, you, of course, you have quiet start if you want it be nice to your neighbors. So then you have the track apps. Hit OK here, you've got acceleration timer, brake performance, line lock, uh, lap timer, uh, and the, then the start option. Automatic, drag race countdown, or racetrack countdown. All right, we're gonna go back here, and then over to the gauges. You can show gauges or configure gauges, okay? So if I wanna show gauges, I just hit that and there comes all my gauges. Now you can see I've got some sports stuff showing up. And in, um, if you put the car in like a track mode or a race, um, one of the sportier modes other than normal, um, some of these things will automatically show up. So let's go back to the pony for a minute. Okay. Then you've got my color, which you can set Prime color, sec and secondary color, ambient light, create my color. So if I set, if I click on here and I go ice blue, okay, um, you might have noticed a few things change. Let's let's go back to gray. And if you, I'm, I'm looking in particular right down here, I'm seeing some, and and then I'll exit out and you'll see more of it. So primary color, let's go. I'm gonna go to ice blue now. Watch that little spot down there. See so changes color. Okay, so now if I back out of this, okay, I got, and then I've got ice blue under here, which, which is kind of cool. So you can, you can change the colors, you can change the ambient lighting there. 
Um, let's go back there a minute. And then, of course, you have cluster appearance. So change with drive mode, which is what most of us do. But you can also set it to normal or sport or track. So uh, you saw those before, but I'll just turn on track for a minute so you can see. And then you get that track mode. So you can have that while you're driving if you just happen to like that view better. That's the awesome thing about digital displays is they're so configurable. Here. Down here you've got your uh, 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 touchscreen uh, infotainment center. And it does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And you can see, we won't go into all of them here, but you got, you know, you got sound, you got your clock, Bluetooth, phone, um, your Ford Pass Connect, mobile apps, navigation, which this does it come equipped with navigation, voice activated navigation too, um, and then Sirius XM. And then down here, you've got some shortcuts as well. Okay, we'll swipe over to the next screen. You've got some general things, some, uh, you can automatically update, you can look at your vehicle, um, you can tell different things on that one, um, like the camera settings and then the onboard, onboard modem serial number, which I would guess would be necessary for some things so, you, so they give you quick, easy access to it. You can just look at the whole display, change those settings if you want, okay? Uh, the climate control, even though you have lots of physical controls, you don't have things like um, the mode. So up here you do want to switch and then you can go to the different modes right here. The fan speed, which that you can adjust. Most things you can adjust manually, but there are a few things like where the air is coming from. Um, you use, this is dual zone climate control. Okay. And we'll take a look at the uh, navigation setting quick. Oops. There we go. It's got a nice map on there. And then you can go to a full map or you can go to a highway exit info, which then splits your screen in half. But it gives you, when you're driving, it gives you exits that are coming up and information about what's on those exits. Okay, I'll go into settings for a minute. Okay, under settings, you get these apps. Okay, so we're going to take a look, first of all, at general. Okay, and here's where you can set a lot of the different things. Okay, temperature units, measurement units, and language. Okay, um, you can put it in valet mode. Um, you can uh, regulate your voice control, your voice uh, control, automatic updates, 911 assist settings. Okay. Uh, you can look at app mobile apps right through here. You get the Sirius XM satellite. And this is where you would add your phone. It's so very nicely, very easily laid out. And there's what the stereo looks like. All right. So now down here. Um, you have physical controls for your stereo. You've got volume over here, you've got tuning over here, and then you've got some other physical buttons. You've got the power, you've got the seek left, seek right, or forward or backwards, play, pause, and then if you bring up that button here, it brings up the graphic equalizer.